what's going on guys so today we're going to be installing this uh, Geary or Gary uh, doorbell system in my house um, there's been a lot of activity going on around here uh, I already have cameras at, at my house but um, I'm going to install this doorbell thingy the thing is about my house my doorbell's on this side so if I put the this there it's not going to capture a lot towards the front so I'm thinking um, probably later on in the future rerun my wires um, get up a matic and try to run them to this little uh, this little part of the brick that way I can put the the little device there but anyways let's open it up and see what's in it I know it says it's got Wi-Fi enabled. You can view it through your phone. It records at 720. Uh, motion detection, SMS notification, real-time video, two-way audio, uh, ultra long standby, night vision, and you can download the app uh, with those codes. So let's take it out of the package. Let me grab a knife. Alright, so let's open it up. It's real windy today. So you got your thank you from Gary. Geary. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, some stuff. Leave a review. Got your uh, instruction manuals. Some double-sided 3M tape. Got yourself some little uh, screws for where you're gonna mount it. An Allen wrench. You got your little. Uh, I guess this the doorbell. Yeah, I guess this is where you're gonna hear it from and the sound of whoever you're communicating with. You gotta plug it into your outlet in your house. Um, you got the actual device here. So I've been thinking of getting the ring, but. I found this one on Amazon, it was pretty cheap. So I'm just gonna test it out, see how it works. I've seen a lot of videos from the Neighbor app uh, of people using the Ring device. So, you know what? I don't even know if you can hook this one straight up hardwired into your doorbell. I need to read through the instructions to see what it says. Uh, so, all I see is a micro USB. Some prongs are going to here. Oh, actually, I think you can. This is where you would wire it. Um, one will be your hot uh, hot wire coming in, and then your ground. That's all. There's only two small wires on the doorbell, uh, so you can. So that's that. Oh, and they include two of the rechargeable batteries, so it doesn't have to be hardwired. You can just have it as a camera device. And it would still work as a doorbell because it would ring here. So I'm going to put the batteries in this, read the manual, and go try it on the next to the door. Alright, so first things first, we need to go put this where we're going to want to mount the, the device. In my case, I have brick, so I'm going to need a masonry bit uh, to drill through the brick. And then I'm going to put some wood, um, fill it in with wood, so this screws, or whatever screws I decide to use, will grab on, on, on that. So I'm going to do that first. Let's take this plate and my drill. Let's bring it to the front. Put the drill here. So I already have my holes marked. You guys can see one, two, three, four. That's about the same height as the original doorbell. So this plate is gonna sit on there, like so. So I'm gonna drill my holes and then I'll show you guys after that. All right, so I did all my holes and I decided to use the plastic uh, bushings they provided for the screws. So now I'm gonna put the plate in and I'll be back after that. All right, so we're gonna insert the batteries into the device now so we can mount it. Okay, 
It's saying that it's ready to begin pairing. Uh, what you need to do is download um, the app from the QR code, or you can search it on the App Store. And the app is called XSH Cam or camera as I found it on online uh, let me show you guys right there so we're gonna need to add the device search for Wi-Fi Alright, doesn't wanna search for a Wi-Fi, so let me uh let me see what's going on. Okay, so I think I was doing it wrong. A new device, uh setup device. And it's asking if you hear it. I do hear it, say yes. So my Wi-Fi. Gotta hook up to my Wi-Fi. You put the password in. Oh, it's doing some noise. device password confirm. so what do we click finish now device I'm guessing we gotta set up a password for this device so let me do that real quick alright so I put the password and now we're waiting so that's the device what are we going to settings? to set calls search QR code so what is this the password is too simple more find more than eight characters so then I probably need to change the password then all right so there's a camera and that's where I'm seeing so let's set it up on the wall and see how that looks to the front yard. All right, so we have the device right there. Um, this is a light sensor, I think all the way around. This is a PIR, I don't know what that is. The camera, doorbell, speaker, and then it has a LED on the bottom. So let's see. If you look at it on the what I'm recording, you guys can see I'm right there. I look at the front, and you can speak to it. Hello, hello. So that's that was me speaking through the phone, and it automatically uh, placed it over there. You can take a picture of me now, or you can record uh, what you're seeing uh, at the moment. It has uh, the speaker icon down here. If you guys want to use the speaker or not. Oh my god, this camera doesn't want to focus. And then you have your cloud storage, cruise. I don't know what cruise is for. Then you have your settings. And it gives you some information ID, model, whatever. You can update the software. If you guys have it, let me I'm walk out a little bit to the outside. You guys can see me walking. I'm gone. If I come back out, right there. So this is pretty cool. The only downfall is that it records at 720. I would have liked for it to be at least 1080p. But there you guys have it. Let me uh, Let me hook up the other little thing to the inside outlet see what it does all right so I was having a hard time trying to pair that speaker 
to the actual doorbell um, because the instructions it says to hold the volume up button for four seconds uh, in reality you have to hold the top button which is the speaker button for four seconds or so and then the light will be solid and then you press your doorbell within five seconds and then it starts blinking rapid which means it, it worked and then you're gonna you can now press the you can now press the and it'll and then I automatically get a call as well and then I can see whatever's on the camera you guys can see my hand waving over it so <clears throat> that's pretty much it guys for this install on this uh, Gary doorbell Wi-Fi uh, doorbell if you guys are interested in buying something like this to try it out uh, like I said this wasn't too expensive I think it was like $60 or 70 and I think there were some uh, sales going on because of Black Friday but anyways so that's my install on this uh, if you guys liked it give it a thumbs up we'll see you guys on the next one